Hey, welcome back everyone, live coverage here, reInvent 2020, I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. Two sets here, We've got amazing content flowing, a third set upstairs in the executive briefing area. It's kind of a final review, day three. We've got a special guest for do a reInvent review. Vadu Sudhakar, CEO, founder of Acera, former multi-exited entrepreneur, kind of a CUBE analyst who's always watching the floor, comes in, reports on our behalf. Thank you, your seasoned veteran, good to see you. Thanks for Thank you, John. We've got, only got five minutes, let's get into it. What's your report? What are you seeing here at reInvent? What's the most important story? What's happening? What should people pay attention to? Now, a lot of things. First of all, thank you for having me, John. Uh, but most important thing, what uh, Amazon has announced is AI ML, how they're doubling down on AI ML. Amazon Connect for voice. Uh, watch out all the contact center vendors. Third is in the area of workflow, low code, no code, workflow automation. I see these three are three big pillars. And the fourth is ETL and ELTs. They're offering ETL as included in a, as a part of S3 Redshift. I see those three uh, four areas of the big buckets. Well, it's, it's, ET, it's not no ETL to S3, it's ETL into S3 or migration. Right. Then the other one was no, zero ETL promise. That's right. Which there's a skeptical group out there that think that's not possible. I do, I think ultimately that'll happen, but what's your take? I think it's going to happen. So it's going to happen both within the data store as well as outside the data store data coming in. I think that area, Amazon is going to slowly close into the whole thing will be part offered as a part of Redshift and S3. Got it. What else are you seeing? Security? Amazon Connect. Amazon Connect is a big thing. Why is that so important? It seems like they already have that. They have it, but what they're doing now is to automate AI bots. They want to do AI bot to automate both agent assist, AI assist, and also voice bot automation. So all the contact center voice to text, they're doubling down. I think it's a good competition to Microsoft with the Nuance acquisition and what Zoom is doing today. So I, I think between Microsoft, Zoom, and Amazon, it's a nice competition there. Okay, so we had Adam's keynote, a lot of security and data, that was big. Uh, today we had Swami, all ML, 13 yeah. announcements. Adam did telegraph to me that he was going to share, save the, share the love. Jassy would have probably taken most of those announcements, we know that. Adam shared the love. So Adam, props to you for uh, sharing the love with Swami and some of those announcements. We had 13, so good for him. Yes. And then we had Ruba with the partners. What's your take on the partner network? A revamp. No, I think Ruba did a very good job in terms of partners. Look at, this is one of the best stores that Amazon does. Even the companies like me, I'm a startup company. They know how to include the partners, drive more revenue with partners, sell through it, more expansion. So Amazon is still one of the best for startup to mid-market companies to go into enterprise. So I love their partnership angle. One of the things I like that she said that resonated with me, because I've been working with those teams, is it's unified, clear roles, but right. together but scaling the support for partners and making money for partners. That's right. That is a huge deal, big road ahead. She's focused on it, she says, no problem. We want to scale up the business model of the channel, That's the right. resources, so that the ecosystem can make money and serve customers, or serve customers and make money. That's right, and I think one thing that they're always good is marketplace. Now they're doing is outside of market with ISV co-sell, uh, selling through, I think Amazon really understood that adding the value so that we make money as a partner and they make money incrementally. So I think Ruba is doing a very good job, I really like it. Okay, final question, what's going on with Werner? What do you expect to hear tomorrow from a developer front? Not a lot of developer productivity conversations at this reInvent, not a lot of people talking about software supply chain, although Sneak was on theCUBE earlier. Developer productivity, Werner's going to speak to that tomorrow, we think, or I don't know, what do you think? I think he's going to talk something called generative AI. Remember, the people are talking about the code will be written by the algorithms now. I think if I'm Werner, I'm going to talk about where the technology is going, where the humans will not be writing code. So I think AI is going to double down with Amazon, more on the generative AI. He's going to talk a lot about that. Generative AI is hot. We could have generative cube, no hosts. Yes, that would be good. <laughs> no code, have no hosts. Have John <laughs> <laughs> We're going to automate everything. Madhu, great to hear, hear from you. Thanks for reporting. Anything else on the ecosystem? Any observations on the ecosystem and, and, and their opportunity? So I think, look, coming from ISRA, look, I represent ISRA today, we had like close to 1,000 leads at our booth. Most of them are financial, healthcare. Healthcare is still one of the largest ones I saw in this conference, financials, and then I am started seeing a lot more on the manufacturing. So I think supply chain they've announced. So it's, I think Amazon is doing a fantastic job with financial, healthcare, and supply chain. Where's their blind spot, if you had to point at one? I think media and entertainment. Yeah. The media and entertainment is not that big on Amazon. So I think we should see a lot more of those. Yeah, they need to look at that. Any other observations, hallway conversations that are notable that you would like to share with folks watching? I, I think what needs to happen is, that what used to happen with VMware and Citrix, desktop and endpoint management, that's their blind spot. So far, nobody's really talking about the endpoints, your workstation, laptop, desktop, remember, that was big with VMware. Nope, that's not a thought of conversation anywhere right now. 
So I think that area is left behind by Amazon. Somebody needs to go after that white space. And the audience here is over, over 50,000, big numbers. Huge, it's one stuff. of the best shows, right? I mean, after COVID, it's by far the best show I've seen in this year. All right, if they do a sizzle reel, what would it be? Sizzle reel, I think it's going to be a lot more on, as I said, generative AI is the key word to watch, and more than that, low code, no code, workflow automation. How do you automate the workflows, which is where ServiceNow is really strong. I think you'll see Amazon and ServiceNow playing in the workflow automation. Mudu, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE, sharing. And that's a wrap up for day three here in theCUBE. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante, for Lisa Martin, Savannah Peterson, all working hard, Paul Gillen and John Walls and the whole team. Thanks for all your support. Wrapping it up to the end of the day and pulling the plug. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>